Hi guys. I don't know if any of you guys remember this awesome book that I read a few years ago for library, but it is one of my favorite stories and happens to be a true story. So kind of cool. If you remember it, you know how awesome it is. If you've never heard Rough Tough Charlie before, get ready for something cool. This is a 4.0 accelerator reading level story. Charlie, orphan, <clears throat> runs from town, hides in stable, hunkers down, found by owner, horses neigh. You can't sleep there in my hay. Charlie cowers, hangs his head. Druther sleep here than in bed. Then he stands up. That there mare got a problem, matted hair. Yonder horse just threw a shoe. Charlie begging, work for you? Owner ponders, nods his head. I need help, you need a bed. Charlie working, handles reins, learns to doctor, cuts and sprains. Charlie driving, gaining fame, folks request, we, requesting him by name. Drivers needed way out west, steamship carries Charlie's chest. Six horse stagecoach bounds along. Charlie reins up, flicks a throng. Ladies gossip, Charlie's odd. Don't like people, then they nod. And he's vulgar, chews and spits, gambles, swears, and even hits. But he's always smack on time, stops his stagecoach on a dime. Charlie don't have accidents, springs those horses, he's got sense. That's our Charlie, he's the best, even though he's fancy dressed. Bandit, hold up, bullet shoot, bad guy buried. Saved the loot. Bumping, bouncing, cloppity clip. Dusty, dirty, crack and whip. Them's me beauties. They go fast. How I love them. Drat it. Blast. Jumpy horse just kicked me eye. Charlie's tough. Tough. He don't cry. Stagecoach slowing, steep slope slide, jostles people side to side. One-eyed Charlie, driving still, safely down and up each hill. Charlie quitting, builds a house, runs a stage stop, needs no spouse. Charlie votes for presidents, joins a lodge with other gents. Charlie's ailing, can't eat bread, nurse in sore throat, sick in bed. People ask him, should we go get the doctor? Charlie says no. Charlie's deathbed faces grim, local doctor bury him. Hold your horses, huge surprise. He's a woman in disguise. Women were not rough and tough. They weren't smart or strong enough. They were bound by petticoats, couldn't drive or cast their votes. Charlie did though, as she would, drove and voted, cause he could. The facts about Charlie. Charlie, 
Starkey or Durkey Parkhurst was born in 1812 in New Hampshire. As a youth, she ran away from an orphanage located somewhere in Massachusetts. Ebenezer Blanche ran a livery stable in Worcester, Massachusetts. Charlie first discovered was first discovered hiding in the horses. She worked for Ebenezer for many years and moved with him to the What Cheer Stables in Providence, Rhode Island in the early 1840s. So Charlie always wore gloves. He delivered the Pacific Mail in San Francisco. And these this is so many awesome, cool facts. So I'm going to go ahead and let you pause it and read all of the timeline of Charlie's life because she was pretty amazing. There is a headstone in Wooden Watsonville, California, all about Charlie. Pretty cool.